here, aka Navy Box. And where here is Blue Mountain State Park in the far southwest corner of Minnesota. Now, Blue Mountains is known for two main reasons. One is the rock formations here, the uh, rock cliff, mostly red rock. Some of it was quarried many years ago. And the other reason is the bison. Now the rocks rise out suddenly on the western edge of a of the uh, of the plains here and settlers as they came across the state would see these mounds in the distance and of course as most objects in the distance are they look blue so that's how I got the name blue mounds even though it's really red cliffs now I arrived here this afternoon uh, it's Thursday March 30th 2017 and I'm camping here for two nights so hopefully I can get some decent pictures of the, uh, the cliffs and the bison uh, or the bison um, I'm camped here because well I like camping anyway of course but uh, also, also uh, gives me more immediate access in the mornings and the evenings than if I were to uh, stay in a nearby motel or whatever. It's a three and a half hour drive to get here, so uh, so driving from my home and trying to get sunset sunrise shots. And then driving home after getting sunset shots would not really be practical. So, being the end of March in Minnesota, it's not the warmest camping I've ever done. But on the other hand, it's not the coldest either. So, I will survive. Now, I've been following the forecast for today for quite a while. And for the last several days, it's been saying that we were going to have increasing sunshine today. <laughs> As you can probably see, it's very cloudy. While I was setting up my tent, I did have one quick shaft of sun break through the clouds, or try to break through the clouds. But other than that, it's definitely not increasing sunshine and unfortunately this was supposed to be the best day of the three that I'm going to be here. So what I'm doing this afternoon is that I'm uh, doing a quick scouting trip, uh, recce as the Brits would say, to try to find a good location to try to get pictures of these cliffs at sunrise on the off chance that we actually get a, a sunrise because these cliffs should be lit up beautifully if we do my biggest hope is that there will be some clouds behind the hills some clouds with some structure that the sun will manage to break through underneath the, the clouds on the east, light up those cliffs, and light up whatever clouds are over the cliffs. That would be my ideal situation. That's what I'm envisioning in my mind's eye. So, don't know if I'll get the right conditions or not. Find out if uh, 
I'm not here to uh, to look so we'll see what happens First of all, this yellow grass, golden grass, well, not really golden, but yellow, and found this nice tree here. So I'm going to get a little bit closer to the tree. then down low a little bit so that I get more of the yellow uh, grass the tree gets separated from everything from the uh, a little bit against the sky and yeah I think that's gonna make a nice nice little graphic image there I did find on the other side of this trail here there are some trees along here but they're an awful long way from the cliff but there's a possibility I might be able to find something in here to uh, use as a frame and who knows maybe in the morning if this field is all lit up as well as the rocks maybe maybe it won't be an issue maybe having the the uh, field in the bottom third then the cliffs and then they uh, hopefully get some beautiful clouds behind the cliffs maybe uh, maybe something like that will work for me we'll have to see again it'll be a moot point if I don't get that sunrise in the morning maybe a zoomed in composition like this with the rock on the left and that tree on the right some nice clouds behind it some nice light on the rocks nice light on the trees maybe just maybe that'll work another possibility for shooting these in the morning would be to come over here and uh, shoot from the side rather than straight on and uh, then I'm not shooting pointing upwards quite so much still should be able to uh, uh, accomplish what I want to accomplish so this is another possibility
trenches at all. The intersections. Okay. Here's a map of the park. The northern part of the park. So. parked down here before I took the hike uh, and I came and I started out on the upper trail then I came down to the lower trail came down along here and back up to the upper trail and that's where I am right now on the where that red dot is the plan is to go back this way there's another along the bison enclosure. So get some more bison chains before heading back to the parking lot. It's open by this time. It would be sunny and I'd be uh, looking at a location for a sunset. Just gonna head over to this overlook here. Head to the cliff. to the cliff but as close as I'm going to be. The sun never did materialize, so now I'm back at camp, at my campsite, and I'm starting to fix supper, and uh, unfortunately tomorrow's forecast is about a carbon, carbon copy of today's forecast, that is it's supposed to start out cloudy and we're supposed to eventually get some sun, uh, so if it works out the same way tomorrow, and it did today uh, I'm gonna be kind of hurting for pictures but anyway I got some nice ones today so uh, what I really want I mean the, the biggest reason I came here was to try to get that sunrise shot and uh, that may or may not happen but I am trying to make the, the you know Make the best of the of the situation anyway. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. Maybe a little bit before seven. At just a few moments before sunrise. I got up at five, but I kind of dallied a little bit because it was mostly cloudy. It's supposed to be mostly cloudy until you now it's about eight o'clock that the uh, clouds are start supposed to start disappearing. But as you can see, we do have a little bit of a sunrise going on here underneath those clouds. I don't think it's going to be enough to 
to light up the uh, show you this real quick leg bone leg from a deer probably the coyotes lots of coyotes out here anyway don't think it's going to be lighting up the cliffs at daybreak like I was imagining but if the clouds can burn off a little bit such that uh, I can get at least get some morning shots with some sunlight on those cliffs won't be quite the picture that I had in mind but still could be a stunner I kind of changed my mind a little bit on what I was going to do uh, see these trees down here uh, I gotta watch my steps across this, these rocks I'm gonna try to get them silhouetted against that sunrise Sorry, I couldn't walk you through those shots. The, the color was disappearing very fast. So I basically had to shoot when I could. As you can see, almost gone now. So now I'm back up on the upper Cliff Line Trail, whatever it's called. Clouds do look to be breaking up a little bit. I definitely would not be able to get the shot I had envisioned this for this morning. All is not lost. So now my plan is to Take the cut off from the upper trail to the lower trail and kind of set up off of the lower trail somewhere and hope that uh, clouds break up enough to light up the cliffs a little bit. These rock cliffs are just amazing. Unfortunately, camera doesn't seem to be picking up the red that I'm seeing and I'm not sure why that is. This is called Sioux Quartzite S-I-O-U-X as in the Indian tribe, Native American tribe, peoples, whatever. It was used in a lot of the buildings in the towns in this area. I think I mentioned yesterday about the quarry at the other end of the, the south end of the park and my intention is to go to that quarry later today and show that to you. don't know if you can see the deer up on the ridge there. Let me see. Where's my finger? Yeah, I can't. I'm zoomed in too much. I can't. He has some broken clouds that are kind of moving this direction. Uh, and I'm set up over here. Um, hopefully, in a little while, we'll get some sunlight lighting up those cliffs over there. He has a nice cloud structure behind him. 
Now I just need uh, light on the cliffs. Got my camera set up here, pointing that direction. I have the tripod extended, which I don't like to do. But in this case, we have so much brush in the front here. I got to get up over that brush. I do have this tree here that's uh, acting as a bit of a frame to the picture. So, uh, it's looking good as long as we can get some light on the cliff. The only problem being that while, even though we have these broken clouds overhead, which look quite nice, we have this big cloud bank, thick clouds, over where the sun is. Now I'm using my uh, six-stop neutral density filter and my polarizer which should give me eight stops I'm shooting f14 three seconds and that's what the set will do. <laughs> and what that's doing is it's uh, blurring out the clouds just a little bit giving them a little bit of, of move movement uh, I'm considering adding another neutral density filter I've got a uh what i think a four stop and a two stop or something like that that i can stack on here thinking of doing that just to give me myself a little bit longer exposure I might experiment with doing that a little bit while they uh, while i'm waiting for the light of course once i get that light i'll need uh extra neutral densities anyway to uh, because otherwise my exposure is going to be getting too short start getting too short oh yeah by the way I'm at ISO 100 so. okay with the added uh, the added neutral density filter I'm now shooting 20 seconds uh, f14 ISO 100 and uh, not looking too bad, but we, we need the light on that cl those cliffs. Good news is, it's looking like that cloud bank might be breaking up a bit. So we might actually get some, uh, get some sun coming through. Well, if you remember my tree from yesterday, it's right over behind me here, just the other side of these trees. So, what I'm going to do here, see, there it is. I'm going to get a shot of it this morning with these dramatic clouds behind it. She'll be a lot better shot than what I got yesterday. Here we go. Somewhere over in here. took a few pictures of the tree I am uh, currently shooting ISO 100 uh, f14 and uh, six seconds and then the Sun came out and lit up the cliff
This is a panorama I created by stitching 12 vertical shots together. Well, as you can see, it's turned out to be a pretty picture-perfect day, other than the wind. So, I'm here at the bench at the base of the trail that would take me, the second trail that would take me back up to the uh, upper trail. I'm not going to attempt that climb today. I'm just too tired and worn out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rest up a little bit. I'm going to have some water. Didn't bring any snacks along, unfortunately. But uh, then I'm going to start heading back along the lower trail, back to the parking lot. So I don't have to do any climbing. Go back to the campsite, rest up a little bit, process some wood so I can have a fire tonight. And... Uh, and there's another part of the park I can get to by road, so I'll probably do that this afternoon. And uh, yeah, kind of play it by ear from there. So it's been a fun morning. It's uh, last I checked, it was about 9:30 or so. So getting to be the time of the day when it's best to stop shooting anyway. Mm -hmm.